So, you're thinking about moving to South Louisiana in cities like Hammond? Well, today in this video, guys, I'm going to be giving you a Google Maps tour of Hammond. I'm going to be using downtown as the starting place and showing you where you are in relation to the school and the best restaurants to eat and the attractions and the general Hammond area. And we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know anything and everything, the good and the bad, about living in South Louisiana, then do me a favor and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about what's going on with the current real estate market here. My name is Carson. My girlfriend Natalie and I are real estate agents and investors with Weikert Realtors Losher Properties. What I want you to know is that if you want to sell your house, we'll either sell it for you or we'll buy it ourselves. And if you're looking to move in the next week or the next few months, whatever it is, guys, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call with us, and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. All right, everybody, welcome to the Google Maps tour of Hammond. So I wanted to first show you where Hammond was in relation to everything else. So Hammond's right here, all these hearts and stuff. That's uh, that's Hammond. That's stuff I saved to show you guys. But uh, New Orleans is down here on the south shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Coming to Massaville, Mandeville is on the north shore. The way you're going to get from Hammond to uh, New Orleans or the airport which uh, airport's right here in Kenner. I'll show you that. Louis Armstrong, New Orleans International Airport. And um, the way you're gonna get there is you're not going to take I-12 and go down to the uh, Mandeville area and cross the bridge. That's gonna take you about an hour and a half. What you're gonna do instead is just take this, this uh, 55 right here. You're gonna go on the west side of the lake to get to the airport. It's gonna take you about 50 minutes to get to the airport from Hammond. It's also gonna take you about 50 minutes to get to the airport from the North Shore. So it's just about the same amount of time um, either way. So keep that in mind if you're if you're moving to South Louisiana, you don't want to live in New Orleans specifically. You wanna live in maybe a, a Hammond or a Covington area it's going to take you about 50 minutes to get to the airport so if you uh, travel by plane often you're going to need to keep that in mind before you to make your before you make your move here anyways let's go see what i have saved for you guys first is going to be the university we've talked about this one in our other hammond videos so the university is smaller it's 15,000 students about is what they have um that's the science building i just wanted to show you a couple of these pictures so you can see what the campus looks like they had a pretty good football team when i was there i was there for one year i went to louisiana tech first actually uh which is in north louisiana that's in ruston i went to louisiana tech for one year i went to southeastern the year after that and then i decided college wasn't for me i decided i was not going back to college but anyways, this is what the uh, what the campus looks like. And um, anyways, campus is right next to downtown Hammond, of course. And I'm going to show you some of what downtown has to offer. Let's start with Lowe's. Okay, not much there. It's a Lowe's. Um, you've got... You've got just about everything you need as far as grocery stores and restaurants. And um, of course, you're going to have your Starbucks and your Chick-fil-A and whatever you people eat. There's a there's a corporate side of Hammond pretty much right off the the um, southeastern exit. There's going to be all those uh, all those places for you guys to eat and get your coffee, etc. So Tangy Lanes is just a, a bowling alley. I wanted to highlight for you guys just to show you that there is a bowling alley in Hammond and it's got an arcade in it too. Perfect for the kids. Oh, look, a pool table. Never been to this one. I live on the, the North Shore, so I've been to um, Tammany Lanes is the bowling alley that we've been to in the past, but it did just get shut down. So I'm going to have to check this one out because I do like the bowl. But um, yeah, bowling alley. 
in um, in downtown Hammond. The reason why it's called Tangy Lanes is because it's in Tangipahoa Parish. Remember, we have parishes, not counties in Louisiana, just because we want to be different. And so Tangipahoa Parish is the reason for the name Tangy Lanes. It's literally called the Steakhouse. It is a steakhouse. But I just highlighted this one because I know for a fact that it is delicious. They do a good job at this steakhouse. They just have poor um, naming skills. They struggle with naming their business. But, um, yeah, this is a nice steakhouse. This is a... Um, it's actually not too expensive compared to other steakhouses. Like um, I won't I won't name any, but there's a few over in um, Covington, Madisonville area where I live that are just absurd. But they're I think they're worth the money. I love steakhouses. Steak is steak is the best. All right, so we've got Courtyard Cafe. I wanted to show you this one too. This is just, I don't know, that's just aesthetically pleasing. I love just little local coffee shops and cafes. Look at that. They made a cat with what looks to be a latte. They made a cat out of latte milk. That's pretty, um, that's how you know they're good at what they do. Look at that. Just very pleasing to the eye. I think that's a crepe. Beautiful outside area yeah guys I just I like to show you pictures just so you can see what um, what Hammond really has to offer what else what else do we have we've got the uh, Luma coffee their competitors courtyard and, and Luma they both do a good job though Luma Luma really does do a good job these are both downtown, just so you know. That's a roaster. That's a coffee roaster. If y'all were wondering what that crazy thing was. I believe that's matcha. I believe that's green tea. So for those of you who drink tea, not coffee, and you like stuff like that, there you go. Luma's got it for you. All right. So, of course, we've got the, the local coffee shops. And son of a biscuit. Don't know what this is. Never been to this place. Let's check it out. I didn't save it, so I don't know what this is. Looks like it's maybe a um, just a little local restaurant. Is that a red waffle? That's either the lighting or that waffle's red. It might be a red waffle, guys. Son of a biscuit. Okay, this is a boat. I don't think this I, this is a pretty um, pretty scenery, but I don't think that is part of the restaurant there. So maybe you want to check out Son of a Biscuit. I haven't done any research on that one, but um, interesting name. It kind of sticks out there. So I wanted to show you Painting with a Twist. I talked about this in the Hammond vlog video. Painting with a Twist is awesome because they teach you how to paint and not like um it's not lessons it's like a one-time thing or if you come back a multiple time thing but you sit down and you there's options there's things for you to paint and you choose what you want to paint and they teach you how to paint it so for this one it was a, a sunset it looks like um they teach you how to paint New Orleans style paintings and buildings. Or your doll. They'll teach you how to paint your doll. But um, it's it's just interesting to me because I know I can't just like pull that off by myself and I learn in person. I have to be shown how to do things and that's what they do. They teach you on the spot. They teach you how to paint. And you get to go home with a painting that you made yourself and you get to brag about it and show your friend and say, look what I made. You know, but um, they also have, uh, I believe they have some kind of wine night. My mom was telling me, my mom was telling me about it, that it was just, um, it was basically a painting with a twist 
session plus wine for for friends or whatnot. There's a PJ's right here. Um, I wanted to show you guys the local coffee shops, but we'll check out this PJ's too. There's multiple in Hammond though. There's multiple everywhere in South Louisiana. It's a it's a New Orleans based coffee shop, but um, that's the outside. Inside. They have all these paintings on the wall. Yeah, there's PJ's. PJ's isn't, it's, it started out like a, a local, local coffee shop, local to New Orleans. And then it turned into a franchise. And now they've actually, they've got some in, um, in Maryland. It's not just a Louisiana thing anymore. Most of, 99% of the PJs are in Louisiana, but they're kind of spread out now. They've got more locations, so. All right, what else did I highlight on here for you guys? You should know, like I said, yeah, everything you need as far as uh, grocery stores and restaurants, you've got that covered in Hammond. They've got your, your Chick-fil-A, Canes, pretty much whatever you want, they've got it. Academy, Home Depot. Olive Garden, Target. I know a lot of you shop at Target. You don't, you don't shop at Walmart because you're a Target person. They have a Target there for you in Hammond, so don't worry about that. Don Seafood is um, a nice seafood place. If you if you like seafood, by the way, if you're moving from another state and you've had seafood in that state, let's say you're in the uh, the middle of the country or the northern portion of the country seafood is different down here i promise you it's different i promise you you have to try seafood if you're struggling to find a place to eat seafood check out a uh, dawn seafood if you're down here in the hammond area or there's one in a uh, covington there might be more than that but those are the two that i know of um i highlighted this gator tour thing i'll show you what it looks like but it's what it sounds like that's yeah that's frightening what is that i guess it's i guess that's an alligator oh is it a turtle is that a turtle i feel dumb that's definitely not an alligator but if you want to go hang out with the reptiles or parrots okay so this isn't just gators then because there's like all kinds of animals here there's a snake i guess that's just the um man i feel like if they would have marketed it towards or marketed as a um i don't know uh I guess what I was trying to say is just um, if they market it as having all these animals where you can go check them out and pet them, whatever, besides just like, oh, it's a gator farm. Like we have gators here. I feel like they would have so much more business. That's just my opinion. There's also in, uh, in Ponchatoula, there's this snowball stand. It's not just any snowball stand though. You gotta check out this is in Ponchatoula. It's not actually in Hammond, but they're kinda like Ponchatoula's right underneath Hammond. It's kinda like Mandeville and Madisonville. They're right next to each other. It's the same thing. It's not, but it is. So look at what they do here. So check this out. This is a this is a pineapple with pineapple snowball and some fruit on top and they do a watermelon one. It's like a real watermelon with watermelon snowball. So they do all kinds of creative, fun things with their snowballs, with their desserts. But this is in Ponchatoula. You should know about Ponchatoula too, that they're famous for their strawberries. They're in all the local stores. And um, I mean, they're to die for.
strawberries are so good especially if they come from Ponchatoula keep that in mind before you make your move here to Hammond other than that guys I think that just about wraps up the Google Maps tour of Hammond you should know that you are like I said less than an hour away from the airport from the zoo from the aquarium from the central business district from New Orleans in general um, you're about, I'd say, 30 to 45 minutes away from the North Shore, from Covington, Madisonville, Mandeville, that area. Um, you've got a bowling alley. You've got a, you've got painting with the twist. You've got downtown Hammond. You've got all kinds of local restaurants and coffee shops and things to do. So you are not um, at a loss there. You've got just about everything you need in Hammond. It's just a small quaint family friendly town um, there's lots of college students of course and there's a train that runs right through downtown um, those are some downsides um, stay tuned for our pros and cons video of Hammond just so you can see um, you know what those pros and cons are more in depth just to um, so that you have a better idea of what Hammond has to offer but I hope this video was educational for you and uh, I hope you found value. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Google Maps tour of Hammond. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, then subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. And if you have any questions about anything I said in this video or any of my other videos for that matter, then give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'll be happy to help you in any way that I can. And other than that, see you around town.